Hey, what's up, YouTube? It's Cool Story Bro back with the 24th episode of this Pokemon Platinum No Pokemon Center Nuzlocke Challenge. Man, man, Giratina's face is forever ruined. All right, but anyway, on uh, some more serious matters, uh, it's been a while since I played this thing, like almost over a month, man. And um, uh, man, there's just so much crap that's going wrong. First, Giratina's face. The fact that I can't consistently play this joint. More importantly, more importantly, you know, it's really messed up. You know what's really messed up? The fact that uh, my intro is broken, man. Camtasia Studios acting stupid and weird, and I don't know what's up with it. I tried looking on Google, and yeah, it's not as easy to fix as on Windows 7. So, yeah, I don't know if I'm going to need a new intro or what, but uh, yeah, I guess I'm going to keep that lane open for the time being. And you know what else sucks? I actually recorded this episode, but I realized I didn't have the sound on, and thankfully I didn't save this time, so... I had to delete it, and I'm doing it all over again for your pleasure. So, I hope you guys enjoy this. I'll try to keep it as fresh as possible. <laughs> but, yeah, man, it's like it's been like an entire month and some change since I last played this episode. This game, even. So, yeah, but however, things are a little bit different. Due to some circumstances, I'm actually playing this at night for once. It's like about 8.57 right now, EST, East Coast Represent. So... Let me tell you, here we are on Route 208. The last time I played this, I actually took some time to do some off-screen grinding of sorts. And uh, let me just show you my, let me show you my Pokemon real quick. Let me show you these guys, man. These guys are, these guys are buffed. I mean, look at this. No, oh, you can't see the little paralysis symbol, but Tree Flower hit level 28. Not only that, but she, she got worked pretty hard. She ran out of attacks, man. That's how much Tree Flower is battling. Look, Stevie, man. Stevie's low on tackle. Stevie Wonder, he's trying to get there. Tortillas, well, Tortillas, cool. Mustard Gas, cool. Bruno, cool. Brobat, though, man, he could use a little bit more work, but that's whatever. It's whatever, though, man. Uh, yeah, that's the team. And also took time to grow a few leopard berries. I mean, it's not a whole lot, but it's something, right? Like, I got eight. <laughs> I got eight berries. It's better than having zero, if you ask me. So, yeah. And I keep accidentally choosing the fertilizer option. I'm trying not to do that. I'm just trying to plant these berries down. Because we got a lot of ground to cover. No pun intended. <laughs> yeah, so... Oh, why is this lagging? Oh, I know why it's lagging. Hold on, let me pause this real quick. I forgot I had the internet open. I wonder if I cut myself off when I paused it. I probably did. I probably did. I keep doing that. Oh, well. I mean, the, the way it pauses, it's like, I don't know. It, 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 it instantly reacts when you hit the pause button, like, faster than it seems it does. But that's Camtasia Studio for you. Massive two-edged sword in the behind. So anyway, we're just uh, planting berries here, doing work, farm work. I'm debating on whether I want to plant these other berries or use them. You know, I mean, Tree Flower is exhausted and she really needs it. But at the same time, it's like, yo, I don't know, man. Let me just let me just water these joints at least. I'm just gonna water them, head off, and do my thing. And yeah, this is at night, like I said before, and things are a little bit different at night. You know, the Pokemon you run into, even the music for real. I was actually surprised at how different the music is at night in this game compared to how different the music is at night in like black and white it, it caught me off guard for real but enough of my nonsense i mean i could go to the old chateau but that's nah ain't nothing there that we ain't already seen and ain't nothing gonna be there that we ain't already gonna see you want to see what happens at the old chateau at night go look it up on youtube if you haven't already and you probably have so yeah oh citrus berry this is nice i'm planting this Thanks, Berry Master. It's better than what you gave me last time. Pineapple Berry. What the heck am I gonna do with that? Make puffins? I don't think so, cuz. Alright. Say, listen to this. The music's all slowed down and. Yeah. Funky. Alright, so we're just trekking on through here. Trekking on through here. 21 cut! Alright, anyway. Um. Let's see. Oh yeah, when I was on this route last time, this is where I was grinding when Tree Flower got paralyzed by Roselia Stun Spore, and then I used up all the moves. When I was through here, I was like, I actually ran into a Chansey at one point, and that blew my mind because I'm like, whoa, 
Chansey for real? I want to catch it. But then I realized that uh, my entire team is full. And, you know, plus Chansey's not all that useful in game anyway. But, you know, and it kind of made me think of this question that I asked in the last episode before I messed up the recording. So I'm going to ask it again. As soon as I knock this Roselli out. Oh, 412, my area code. Alright, so the question I asked was. Say I catch, say my team's full like it is right now, and I catch a healthy Pokemon on a route that I haven't been on before, it's my first encounter, and my team's full. Okay, now since I'm not allowed to put Pokemon into my PC, or even heal them at all whatsoever, you know, that means whatever Pokemon I have are just the ones I have to have. So if I catch a Pokemon, and my entire team is full, and it gets sent to my PC, am I allowed to take that Pokemon out of the PC, and use it later on when I have space like if someone on my team dies am I allowed to do that that's my question I want to ask you viewers I'm actually not even gonna make my own call on judgment for this one so I really need you guys opinions on it because I'm not gonna try to enforce the rule when the situation comes I'm just gonna have to go or whatever oh I found a Lexi too bad my team's full that sucks Dang, I could actually use this too oh well. I'm not gonna fight it because intimidate is annoying. And oh yeah, I gotta get the fog. Cause um, it's it's up in the ruins for real, mate. I mean, on the plus side though, you guys don't have to. Why am I in here? I'm broke. <laughs> I'm broke, dude. Look at me. Look real hard at me. Twenty-four dollars to my name. The economic struggle is hitting. But anyway, I talked to most of these people in the city already. So, if I'm gonna revisit them, I guess I'll just visit the interesting ones. Quote unquote interesting. I want a pro Pokemon catcher. Oh, welcome! You saw the notice outside about us hiring, right? Is that a Pokedex there? Then you must be. Then you must know Professor Rowan. You're just a Pokemon searching expert we've been looking for. Cricket Todd, I want you to bring me one. You must bring it today, or we're not gonna be able to run our main article. I pay you with a hard skill and some Pokeballs for it. It's not a cricket tot. Uh, it's crazy how you can print a newspaper inside your house that barely has anything inside of it except a laptop and a notebook. That is that is what I call effective use of resources. Combating the economic struggle, my good man. Kudos to you. My hat goes off to you. I'll take it off, but I kind of can't do that. So, yeah. Anyway, moving on through the through the hood and such there's nothing interesting in these houses and the best part is I actually went into them last episode anyway what's interesting is this area let's just peep all these sections out all right uh, let's see your Pokemon is a sassy nature did you know the Pokemon's nature determines how it'll grow I didn't know that lady yeah yeah let's keep it moving keep it moving Oh, and uh, let me use let me let me change the apps. I need to make sure I don't then miss any items or anything in this section. All right, no hidden items around here. Uh, oh, oh, I gotta get that Pokeball. Gotta get that ball before I even go into the ruins. It's official. There's an item hidden over there. It's mine. And unfortunately, that's kind of a fatal tendency of mine. I kind of get like really, not that I'm diagnosed with it, but I have a tendency to act like I'm really ADD when it comes to some video games like this. Like, like you see how I like to explore everything and find everything. I mean, I'm sure you've noticed that already, but let's go a step further with it, man. Like even when I'm playing a video game like Minecraft, where you're exploring caves and there's like little ores and other paths everywhere, I have a tendency to like, Say it like I have a bunch of crap on me already. You know, I've looted this place. I should be, I could go back home and just stash my goods for all I care. I'm going to still stop and grab more iron even when I got like 500 pieces of it. Just because it's there. I mean, why would you pass up these resources? It's there for you to take, man. What's wrong with you? You know, if, you're, if you ever mind with me, you'll know what I'm talking about. Oh, yeah, P.S. You probably have it. But, um, oh, uh, uh, seal cases? I need that. See what I mean? I just jumped off subject just like that. But, uh, anyway, 
Like, even in Minecraft, like, if I see an alternate dark cave that I haven't been down before, I'm gonna stop and probably look down it for a bit, run down there, try to get to the end of it, and if it goes on further, I'm gonna turn back. But if it stops somewhere, I'm gonna stop, dig out everything, and then go back. It's, it's crazy. But I really like to explore everything. My curiosity just owns me, man. It's like, I'm like a zigzagoon when it comes to this type of thing. And Zigzagoon's deck entry says, like, it runs around and zigzags back and forth just to sniff everything and observe it. Yeah. Anyway, uh, back to this game, man. I've gone on enough. I'll explain how the seals work. You need a Pokemon Center PC. First, select your PC. Then, check the heading Ball Capsules in the PC menu. Next, choose a capsule and apply seals to it as you wish. When you're done, put the capsule on a Pokeball. You can see the results when you use that Pokemon in battle. Oh, I gotta give them unknown so I can get seals. And see, that's the thing, like, if I catch all these Pokemon, like, what the heck? I mean, they'll get sent straight to my PC. Would there be any harm in that? I mean, granted, I'll be using up my encounter, and I'm probably never gonna use an unknown in a Nuzlocke. <laughs> I'm just not that kind of guy. But, I mean, at the same time, though, it's like... Uh, that's it, a PP up, really? For real? Wow. But it's like, for real, like, uh, do I really want to catch all these Pokemon? I'm not, I'm probably not going to do it. I'm probably not going to do it. I can afford to not have a bunch of extra letters. Anyway, I guess I'm going to try to focus on getting through these ruins and exploring them thoroughly, like everything else. Top right, lower left, top right, top left, top left, lower left. Wait, wait, uh, uh. See, when I try to memorize things like this, I try to apply a rhythm to them. It's like, it, it kind of helps me for real. It's a general, it's a general tactic. Like, top right, lower left, top right, top left, top left, lower left. Let's see if I remember it. Top right, lower left. Uh, oh, crap, I don't remember it. <laughs> top right, lower left, top right, lo top left, top left, lower left. Top right, top wait, top right, lower left, top right. Top left, top left, lower, right. I think. All right, look, look, before I even do that crap, let me let me go from here. Cause before I thought these ruins were like the kind of ruins where like if you take a wrong turn, it automatically sends you back to the beginning. It's apparently not like that. So I actually have some time to explore here and and whatnot. So yeah, we're gonna capitalize. Alright, let's just, uh, let's just burrow through here. This guy's gonna... Ugh. Ancient ruins rife with the unknown. There has to be a meaning. But its significance eludes me and it's gotten me cranky! Alright, Carl. Let's go. Let's go. Uh... This Geodude ain't nothing. He ain't nothing but a bunch of nothing. For once, I'm actually gonna play the battle at normal speed just to see how fast it goes. I mean, the music's fun to listen to. You listen to that. You saw me miss like 50 notes in a row, so. <laughs> Alright, this is too slow. We gotta go fast. Alright. Two Geodudes and a Bronzor. And I stayed in on a Bronzor. Crap. Alright, he's done. He's done. You can't go toe to toe with me. Uh, 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 hey, uh, come on, man. You gonna put me to sleep? And confuse me? Quick claw and I'm still asleep. What the heck? Uh, good job, Tortilla. You're really proving yourself right now, man. There we go. There we go. Alright. The search must continue! The significance of the ancient ruins. Only Pokemon that look like the letters of some strange language. Can they be trying to convey a message to us? Hey, crap, man. I battled through off my bearings. I forgot where I was at. I took the lower left chamber, so it's... 
top right, lower left, top left, top left. All right. Uh oh. That was weird. That freaked me out for a second. I thought my thing froze and I was gonna have to start all over. I was not gonna be a happy camper, let me tell you. I was gonna be a very angry and repugnant camper. Repugnant in terms of attitude. So, yeah, top left and top left. Wait. Top right, lower left. Maybe it's top right again. And then top left twice. Let's see where this goes. And then, was it lower left or lower right? Whatever, I'll figure it out. I, th I guess it was lower left. Okay, sweet. Friendship. All lives touch other lives to create something anew and alive. Nugget. A nugget of wisdom. Like with that, like that, like that, 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 that wall of unknown runes just described to me. A nugget of, well, uh, what? That unknown is shaped like a D. She wants the D, but does she want it from an unknown? That is the question. No, she doesn't. I flinched. Weak. Weak. Can't handle bro bat. Ah, oh, sweet. I got defog. Now I can head up to the top of Lost Tower. It's really not all that hype for real, but eh, hey, whatever. Oh, we found a mind plate. This is useful. Two beings of time and space set free from the original one. Man, why are you talking to- Oh, come on, man. You gotta eat- Really? Come on, man. I'm in the middle of recording. I don't care if it has been three hours. Ugh. All the sense. All right. Well, let's see. And, uh, more unknown. Level 28, though? I'm, oh, let's go. I need the EXP. Just don't be super effective. It's super effective. Crap. Let me just heal this guy up. Heal yourself up. Holy crap! This is bad, but I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna go for it. Live, 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 live! Oh my god. Brobat, are you okay? Brobat, speak to me, man. It has to be Hidden Power Psychic. He's hitting me like he has stab off of that, man. That's not even cool. Ugh. I would run into an unknown with him, Power Psychic. Just my luck. <laughs> Just my luck for real. Oh, wait, what? No, uh, it's him, Power Electric. Okay. Wow. That was doing a lot of damage for level 28. Dang. He really smacked me. He really slapped me around. I could have KO'd it with Brobat, but I didn't even want to take the risk, man. I didn't even want to take the risk. That's crazy, though. That must have been a base 70 hidden power electric or something. I've never seen it hitting like that before. Uh, uh, go down the steps. I hate how I, I, I check one stone for an item and they're all unavailable. What? Oh, great. More rooms. Great. Oh, there we go. There's a thunderstone. Maybe I can get a jolty on. Maybe. I'm still thinking on it, though. It's a lot of decision and part of thinking going into that determination of whether I want a jolty on or not. Or an SB on. Oh, this dude's level 20. He ain't nothing. He's a joke. He's a pushover. He's a push under. Look at that. He took like almost half his. Look, he's got hit a power ground. Look at this. Free hits, man. Free EXP. Free XP. Can't argue with it. All right, let's see. Uh, we're not lost. No self-respecting, conscientious man is gonna admit to ever being lost. It just doesn't make sense. No man ever admits he's lost until he's beyond the point of no return. All right, we're not lost here, man. We're back to this place. This place being a place where we were at when we weren't lost. So obviously, we're not lost. Oh my god, why do they all hit super effective? Why can't one just hit neutral? Oh my. Dear goodness, man. 
These unknowns really hate you, bro, Bat. I'm not gonna lie. It's the second time you've almost died in this episode today. Like, what the heck? Get it together. Alright, well, let's talk to this guy. Hey! Hey, now look at here! What if, what, ha what you have there? That's the hidden machine to fog. Can you loan it to me real quick? I'll make it worth your while. Eh, eh, yeah, you, yeah, you can rock it. Yeah, teach your star avia to hit him, move the fog, and done. Sweet, I got a green shard off of him. That's nice. Alright, so this guy can probably get out of here now, and it's all thanks to me. Yep. What I want to know is how to get to that cave on the outside. Or do I have to come th through somewhere else? I think I have to come through somewhere else. Unfortunately. Oh, no. So, it has to be through there, but I just don't know how. Uh, whatever. That's another story for another day. Anyway, uh, let me, let me teach Brobat to fog real quick, because we're going to need it, actually. I mean, when you get to the top of the Lost Tower and use the fog, I mean, you get some items that you don't really need, but I mean, the fog kind of helps you. Kinda? I don't know. I mean... It's a coin flip. Alright, all right, let me flip a coin real quick. This is how I make all my life-changing decisions. Let me grab my pennies, wherever my jar's at. Uh, it's right here. Barely got it. Ugh. Alright, concept is simple. If I get heads, I'll teach it to fog and climb Lost Tower. If it's tails, I'll ignore Lost Tower and finish the last play right here. Alright, heads or tails, heads or tails. Let's go, let's go. I got a dime in my hand. Oh, wait, missed it. Whoops, dropped it. Let's just do it again. Oh, my. It fell off my hand. Come on, man. I mean, it landed heads on the floor, but it doesn't count, man. I, it has to be in my hand when I'm flipping it. Heads it is, so we're teaching them to fog. Let's go. Alright, bro, bat. Let's get to the top of Lost Tower. Uh, I guess I'll get rid of Confuse Ray. Yeah, yeah. Now, if you love, if you lovely ladies and gentlemen will excuse me, I have a let's play to pause. We're gonna pick back up at the top of Lost Tower. Chia. Ah oh, crap! I hit the button like 40 times, so that's gonna look really weird in the final output. But whatever. All right. Anyway, we're back. We are back in the business. Hundred million dollars. And uh, yeah. So, we're on the next to last floor of the Lost Tower. Let me use the fog real quick. I actually got through it pretty fast. I didn't run into any wild Pokemon at all. Crazy. And, um, however, I did give Brobat the Soothe Bell. I mean, Soothe Bell increases happiness. I want Brobat to evolve quickly as possible. I want him to evolve quickly as possible, man. You don't understand. I bet you, I bet you 50 Poke Dollars. Okay, I bet you 50 Poke Bucks. The bro bat evolves within the next two episodes. Somewhere within the next two episodes, he evolves. I bet you. And this will include off-screen grinding, but I'm not gonna like solo solely focus on training him off-screen and then just be like, "Oh, hey, you evolved in the next episode. Told you, ha <laughs> You owe me 50 Pokemon bucks. Nah. I mean, he's gonna evolve like during those episodes. But yeah. So, anyway, you're gonna defog this. And talk to these old ladies here. You know, before she said, I wish this fog would be blown away like the doubt in my heart. Now let's see what she says. Oh, the fog is gone, and with it, all the doubt in my heart. This is my thanks. Don't be shy. Take it. Spell tag. Yay. That Fantina, it's hard to tell what she's thinking. But she has a compassionate heart. You know, she's a regular visitor. And it's kind of natural that a ghost-type gym leader would visit a place like this. Oh yeah, and at night time, I like how you run into different Pokemon, I mean, not like you haven't seen a Ghastly in here before, but I mean, I ran into a Duskull in here one time, and I was like, whoa, Duskull, that's pretty cool, pretty cool. But you know how the move the fog makes the wind blow? What if I use the fog on Ghastly, would it instantly faint? <laughs> oh man, I think Ghastly's dex entry says like, it, it fades away with the wind, does it come back together? Like, does it, like, reform itself when the wind stops? 
That's a good question. Let's talk to this other lady and just shut up. Let me make your journey out of this place less frightening. Take this. And Clint's tag just makes basically makes wild Pokemon less likely to appear, but it's not as strong as a repel, and it's a hold item. So a Pokemon has to be holding it and in the front of your party for it to work. Yeah. Alright, and um, so yeah, I'm gonna end the let's play right here. Thank you guys for watching. Like, comment, subscribe. Favorite if you want to see Brobat still barely get much done in a single episode. But also, I do want you guys to answer this question in case you forgot already. If I catch a Pokemon when my team is full and I get space in my team later, am I allowed to use that Pokemon again? Okay, that's the question I'm asking. Anyway, thank you for watching. Please answer that question for me or I'm going to have to assassinate a bear. Poor unsuspecting bear drinking a bottle of Coke. You don't want that, man. That's just wrong. Anyway, deuces.